This is perhaps the oldest oak tree on earth. It grew about 13,630 years ago. tree has about uh, 200 rings on it. Okay, so we have a record of tree growth that is 200 years long that fits somewhere around this period. We have about 800 trees collected that we have done that type of work with. And that's the big puzzle. We have all these sections and we're trying to match them up. Tree ring dating is much like name that tune, right? You have to have enough information to put it in time. Okay, so, so if I were to tell you, mm hmm, so would you know what song that was? Of course not, because you only have a little bit of information. But if I were, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, well, you have enough information now to not only identify that song, but tell me what part of that song I. I gave you, was it the beginning, was it the end? And so that's much like tree ring dating, is that if you have enough information, you can uh, put it perfectly in time. Dendrochronologist's dream is to make this pattern the longest as possible. Some of the, the longest records uh, have really revealed um, some of the own, unknown uh, features of our Planet. Tree ring research has been going on since maybe the turn of the century, 1910 or something like that, and uh, started in southern Arizona, and it has blossomed around the world. There are probably 10 or 15 major tree ring labs in the U.S., and as they graduate new students, you're seeing more and more dendrochronologists or tree ring scientists show up. Certainly this year in Missouri, drought is a hot topic. We are developing records of tree growth, which are really records of drought in many cases, that go back 10,000 years. Of course, we have no climate records that go back much beyond 1890, really. So anything uh, longer than 100 years old is new information. And you know, we're exposing droughts in the past that we've just never never seen since we've settled this country. And I don't mean to be an alarmist, but you know, to be real about what the natural climate variability is, I think it's very important to know that. Certainly 10 to even 50 year long droughts are in Missouri's past. For our records to tell you something about, you know, drought has been periodic, right? For a thousand years, it's been on this 20, year cycle. I mean, to me, who's to say that the next 20 year cycle is not going to happen when it's happened for a thousand years? I'm betting it will. Well, I think there is an art and a science link and that they can be used together to better understand our world. If you're at the state fair and you see a grandma come up that looks like she's twice as old as you are and she runs her fingers over the rings of that tree, you can tell that it gives her a feeling for time that she may or may not have had. Mm -hmm.